What's good y'all, it's the Carrie here back with another video. Guys, today I have the new Cricut Joy Extra and we're gonna be making some simple projects for you to get started with. I'm gonna be customizing this cute little backpack, also making some labels for these jars that I have to show you how easy this is to use Cricut's pre-made images to make projects. Like when I'm telling you guys, this is so easy. Um, I love this Cricut Joy Extra, you can literally make projects on your kitchen table you don't need a craft room or anything for this so let's get into making this customized backpack and you can customize anything whether it's a t-shirt a hat um socks whatever you want to customize you can make whatever you want with a smart iron on no mats needed and you can literally pick a pre-made image from Cricut design space and iron on to whatever material or whatever object you want to so let's get started with creating this beautiful backpack with the Cricut Joy Extra and show you how easy this is. So I went ahead and went to Design Space to design my custom backpack and this is so easy especially when you're just doing like a name. So I click text here and I'm going to go ahead and change the text to my name which is Akira if you don't know. Um, and then I'm gonna go to the fonts. Now I love a cursive font for a customized bag or whatever customization I love a, a cursive. Now I'm gonna take you to my favorite font. It's right at the top, it's called Analog Script. So I'm using Analog Script as my name and it just takes a little second to load. And then once it's loaded, it'll have my name. I resize it to about six inches because that was the perfect size for the backpack. And then also I'm adding an offset so I can use two different colors on the name to just make it stand out and make it bold. You can change the sizing to whatever you want. Cricut makes it so easy. You just hit apply and you hit make it. And I wanna make sure I switch this over to my Cricut Joy Extra. You hit make it and it sends it right over to the machine. So I got my offset here and I'm going to heat press this on to this book bag. So I got my offset here and I printed this with the um, smart vinyl, smart iron on. I got a piece of butcher paper here and I have my mini heat press on the lowest heat because of this uh, material. I'm going to heat press the backing on and then I'm going to heat press the outline on top of this so it has a nice design on this book bag. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the backing and it came out perfect. And now I'm gonna put the top layer on here and this little book bag is gonna come out so cute. And now I'm gonna layer the top part on here and just make sure everything lines up perfectly. Look how cute that looks already without me even pressing it on yet, but once it's pressed, it's gonna look perfect. Okay, so I got my second, uh, my outline layered on top of the offset. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my butcher paper. I have my mini press on the second heat setting and I'm gonna go ahead and press this for a few seconds. And now I'm peeling off the backing and look how perfect this is. It literally took me like 10 minutes to personalize this cute little book bag. And you can do this too for any items that you have in your home. And this came out so adorable. All right, so you've seen how easy it was to customize that backpack and you can customize any item in your home uh, with smart vinyl and it is going to be beautiful just how my project came out so now let's move on to customizing these jars i'm going to be labeling these for my pantry and i think this is a perfect easy project that anyone can do so let's get into labeling these jars using cricut sticker paper thing I did was open up a new screen in design space and when I'm going to go ahead and just show you how easy it is to make labels I'm going to go right over into projects and you can go to the search bar here and type in labels 
not labels, but labels. <laughs> this is gonna allow me to pull up all the label projects and show the easiest ones that are out there that are already pre-made. So I really love these spice labels. Um, so I clicked on them and clicked edit a copy. This is gonna allow me to change this template that has already been created to, to customize it for my needs. So once you see here that they have all these different spices and I don't really need any of these and I also wanna change it to customize it for what I'm wanting. So I went ahead and just deleted all these extras because I only needed two labels. Now I selected both of these labels and I'm gonna resize them to fit appropriately on my canisters. And then the only other thing I'm gonna do is just change the name of the label. So I'm gonna change paprika to flower and then I'm gonna change the ground ginger to tea. Then I'm gonna get rid of the ground here. And just realign these two. And now they're literally all set. There's nothing more that you have to do to get these labels ready. And I'm just gonna up change the height on that a little bit and now there's nothing else that you need to do to get these rate labels ready to be sent over to the joy extra so i'm going to send them over to machine and make my labels just easy as that and now i'm going to go ahead and put this through the machine and make some beautiful labels for my jars Now I'm gonna go ahead and load fine point blade after it's done this writing with the Cricut Joy um, fine point pen. So you can use that with the Joy Extra. Then I'm gonna hit go on my computer and then now it's going to cut out the labels. Okay, so I got my labels here and just easy as this. This was so easy to do. And now the file that I use will be linked down below uh, because the sticker paper is so light and easy. I'm just gonna go ahead and lift up the edges here. We're gonna peel this off and we're gonna place it right on top of my canisters. These are canisters from the Dollar Tree and this is just a fun and easy affordable project to do. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it onto the canister. And now I have label canisters to, to add my supplies to. So just like that, I made these two easy projects. I personalized a product, which you can do with anything, t-shirts, jeans, hats, whatever you wanna personalize and can take heat transfer vinyl, you can do it. And then I also labeled these beautiful canisters. These are just Dollar Tree canisters that I was able to label with Smart Label and the Cricut pen, and these came out beautifully. I didn't do anything special. These are files that are already available on the Cricut Design Space. So guys, these projects are super easy and fun to do. And just to show you some of the abilities of the Cricut Joy Extra. So let me know guys, what do you think about these projects? Would you be interested in the Cricut Joy Extra? I think it is a perfect product for beginners. The great price point at $1.99 and these projects were so easy to do. They took me 10 minutes or less and they're already pre-made projects in Cricut Design Space. So let me know what you think down below. Um, I think the Joy Extra is the bomb and I hope you guys do too. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.